Welcome back, welcome back, and welcome back to another episode of Hartsville Hoops. This is season two, episode three, and we are here with some of your favorite players of the Hartsville Hoop, Hartsville High School Red Foxes, and we're going to start with Brother Jamie. What's up, coach? <laughs> <laughs> hey, how's the how's man? We I, I took a week off last week, so nah, basically, I took no week off. Yeah, we wasn't here last week. We wasn't on the show last week. Oh, yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah, we took a week yeah. off. I think it's my workouts. <laughs> <laughs> Workouts is the reason we had to take a, a, a week right. off yeah, yeah, yeah. off the podcast. So, um, Jamie, how how was the last two weeks for you? It, the day was the hardest day, no cap, because we had to run three times around the school nonstop. So that was that was hard. But I, the, the last weeks was kind of easy, but this one was this day was hard. hard. Nah, I think I think yesterday was the hardest. I put a bunch of people in IR yesterday. Facts. I put a po- couple people in IR yesterday. We had we had a, uh, a whole infirmary going on. <laughs> 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 Off of yesterday, we had a whole infirmary going on. So, um, Jordan, how's your last two weeks, bro? It's been good. It's been a good experience. I had counts and stuff. It wasn't good. Yeah, how, how was the one fifty? It was good. I had got a, a playmaking award. So that's what's up, man. Yeah. Jamie, how'd you, how'd you? How was your first camp experience? Uh, I should have went to the one last year, but. I, I would like to go again. And it was fun. <laughs> like I was asking Jordan and Nate questions about, it, and they was telling me that um the drills and stuff like that. It was easy because it was just like same stuff we do at the high school every day. It was really easy, but it was fun though. Yeah, but you could tell some of them boys don't yeah, do that. You could tell some of the boys yeah. don't do that they on the regular. They was asking me questions how to do they the stations. I was like, this, this is my first time too. I don't know. I can't help you. <laughs> <laughs> they were struggling with the push ups. Yeah, but off the ball, bro. It was like <laughs> you need to do ten. <laughs> <laughs> Nate, how was your last two weeks? It's been good, man. Coming off an injury, so still. You ain't coming off the injury. You still on the injury. Let me rephrase that. Let me rephrase that. But I'm still injured. You you still you still on the injury. Yeah, I'm coming off. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I got injured yesterday. He didn't get injured yesterday. I think. I think Jordan. Uh, he was faking today. No, bro. let me put that. Let me put that out there. I, I twisted my ankle for real yesterday, bro. It hurt. Bro. I kept going though. I, I just kept. I kept. That going. was my problem. I should have stopped when it was hurting. You should have stopped when it was hurting. I kept going. That, that high strain it. Man, I, it couldn't have been that bad, man. Y'all boy act like my workouts hard, man. No, no, the, it ain't man, the workouts. It was mine's happened when I was running around the school and you know the grass wasn't even. And I kind of <laughs> tweaked my ankle. I was like, man. <laughs> well, that's cool. That's cool. How was um talk about the uh, Phenom One Hundred and Fifty? I know all y'all went since the last time we've been on. Like, kind of talk a little bit about that. My so, fr- my first time. Um, yeah, I was nervous because I was asking Nate and um Jordan questions, and I was like, "Yo, what we gonna be doing? Like, what I need to wear?" And I was the only one there. Like, he was supposed to wear like black shorts and a black undershirt. I had a gray shirt on with some gray shorts, <laughs> and I was the only one. No, and I was no. like, I was like, I feel no, out my, of shape. My dog like, Ace had yellow shorts. <laughs> yeah, on. Like, had yellow shorts on. <laughs> somebody had like red don't shorts care on. though. You know, Ace don't care. And I was asking Nate and Jordan like, "Dog, what we gonna do? How we how we do this?" They was like, "Bro, we just gonna do stations." I was like the station's hard. It was like, nah, it's it's not even hard as the ones we do at high school. So that kind of like eased me down. <laughs> and we scrimmage, and it was it was kind of kind of hard because you only had three dribbles. Yeah. Once you pass half court, and if you had different what position you play and depends yeah. on how you play, and you had a team, yeah, yeah, and then you had people that were selfish. Yeah, selfish, what? and then you was playing with new people from all over. See, me and Jordan, we was on team, but we ain't gonna talk about it. But <laughs> we know, Jordan, Jordan, we, we had some problems. Jordan, Jordan, problems. teammate was probably one of the most selfish there. <laughs> yeah. Like Kobe in the fourth. I'm talking about, like, talk about had <laughs> pigs running point guard. Yeah, he, he had, never seen this in my he life. He had no X button. <laughs> like, boy, I'm talking about I'm right there in front of bro's face. Straight R2, no, no X button. Straight R2 sprinting on the <laughs> Mashing square. My coach was going down to you like he's right there. I had Coach E. Me and Zaki was on the same team. I mean, that only one. I, only person Coach I felt cheated. comfortable. Coach E cheated. No, I cheat. I ain't cheat. Yeah, he had his players on team. I don't right. care. My team, that was, that was all right. No, the reason why the reason why you had your team, I was going to get y'all team, but uh, one of the players – was like the coach or something like that. No, y'all got the hype coach, the dude yeah, that always talk. Oh, oh, Man, I yeah. love that dude. <laughs> like, I love that yeah. dude. Let's go. Let's go. He reminds me of Coach Days. <laughs> yeah, that who reminds me of. <laughs> uh, Energetic. Uh, we're gonna take. We're gonna take a few minutes here to uh, to give some announcements from the school. Uh, gonna try to start incorporating that um, into our 
uh, weekly segment. So this week, uh, under the school news, uh, any ninth or eleventh grader who wants to sign up to take the PSAT, Jordan, that was disgusting. Uh, <laughs> who want to take the PSAT on October sixteenth will need to sign up with guidance with Miss Stewart. The cost is seventeen dollars and only cash will be accepted. No one will be allowed to sign up after two p.m. each day. No one will be allowed to sign up after October fourth. So make sure ninth or eleventh graders make sure you get out there and sign up. Uh, juniors are invited to go on an industry tour of Honda at Timminsville and into the campus of Coker University. Sign up for the field trip. This is in the counseling department. The tour will be on Friday, October 4th, leaving campus at 7.45 a.m., returning returning approximately at 3 p.m. The cost for the trip will be $10, which includes lunch. Students with attendance, discipline, or grade issues will not be allowed to participate. Their line to sign up is Wednesday, October 2nd, so get up there, get out there and sign up. Uh, lastly, under school news, uh, attention, former teacher cadets and other students interested in teaching. The window for applying for teaching fellows is now open. Teaching fellows received $6,000 per year to attend a college university with the teaching fellows program. You have to go ahead and visit www.sarah.org to find out more about teaching fellows and to apply. Um, in sports, uh, any student interested in playing baseball in the spring is reminded that workouts begin on Monday, September 30th at the Y from 4 to 5. All paperwork must be completed or you will not be allowed to participate. Now, that is your physical sportswear form and your concussion form. Uh, make sure you see Coach Ganey in room 700 or 708 if you have questions. Uh, girls soccer will begin conditioning October 1st at 6 p.m. at Byerly Park track. All interested students will receive information about conditioning and require forms needed at the October 1st meeting. Softball conditioning will begin Tuesday, October 1st from 5.30 to 6.30. All three forms must be completed in order to participate. That, once again, is your physical, sportswear, and concussion. All of these are located um, on the Hartsville High School website under the Athletics tab. Um, lastly, the Lady Foxes golf team improved 3-0 and on the year with a 208 245 victory over Donaldson yesterday. Shouts out to the ladies golf. Yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> yesterday at Donaldson Country Club, Hartsville was led by Aaron Watson, who shot a 46. Uh, and Lakin Wilkinson with a 48. Mackenzie Stokes shot a 55. And Abby Broach and Isabel Morphis rounded out the scoring with a 59 and a 60. Nice job, ladies. This concludes our announcements. Uh, we'll save that we are Red Foxes for the end. Okay. Shouts out. <laughs> <laughs> Shouts out to Mr. Nelson for sending those through. Um, once again, we'll be bringing that to you each week on the podcast, which you can catch every Thursday morning on defylifepods.com, iTunes, uh, Google Podcasts, and anywhere your favorite podcasts are listened to. Now, we got a last week, last time we were on, we had a special guest in, and this week, we got another very special guest in. Uh, it is my pleasure to have this young man on. I met this young man his freshman year, and he he instantly became one of my favorite students. Uh, he used to mow my lawn, and so, <laughs> matter of fact, we need to go out back after the show. <laughs> we need to go, you need to come to the house, I got, I got a job for you, I got a job for you. <laughs> Um, young man came into the high school with a purpose, um, and and it's gone from there. I've, I've literally watched him grow, um, from a young unassuming freshman to somebody who's extremely focused and knows where he's going. We we're talking about the one and only Justin Abraham. How you doing, Just? Yeah, hey, I'm doing well. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Glad to have you on the podcast, man. Thank you for having me, though. Man, I know it was a last minute type of thing. I was like, man, we need to get Justin on. I thought about it this morning. Um, actually, what was um, you're part of FCA? You're very involved in FCA. Mm -hmm. Um, and what was that you guys were doing this morning? It was a prayer at the poll. So it was like everybody who came to the school. If you want to come pray at the poll and pray for anything, you can pray for uh, anything national, anything local, mm -hmm. or anything sentimental. You say you come pray for it. That's for everybody. So how often do y'all do that? Uh, I think it's like I think that's the only time we do it. We do it every year, though. You do it once a year. Yeah. It's okay. And what's the significance of that day? You do you do do you know or uh, you don't know? <laughs> I probably say people just get stronger spiritually. Okay. You know. Yeah. That's. Uh, that's cool, man. I, I I didn't even know about it, and I was walking up. I had got in. Um, the 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 
I was embarrassed because my car had to go to the shop. So the little people, they let me out the little raceway van. <laughs> I was hoping I didn't smell like a uh, mechanic. <laughs> I hopped out. <laughs> that motor <horn. laughs> hopped out the van. I said, oh, all these people over here. Let me walk over here. And uh, I saw Pastor John Greg's <laughs> Boosie. He was <laughs> he was over there praying. Um, so I just joined in. It was it was um I actually came a little late too. Yeah, it was. I saw you, you parked across right in front of me. That's what gave me the idea. You having you here today? Um, but uh, what's it been like senior year? Man, senior year, it's been chill, but at the same time, man, it's just like I wouldn't say stressful. It's just a lot on the mind, boy. Because you know you gotta know where you gotta go. Uh, time fly. I don't believe it. it's like supernatural how fast time fly, you know? Yeah, and here's the funny thing, man. I used to tell them as freshmen, you're going to look around, <laughs> and it's going to be time for graduation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ain't lying, man. <laughs> 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 it, it is. And it's time for graduation, man. And the next thing, um, you went from, like, literally a no-name your freshman year to a key part of the Hartsville defense. Like, tell us a little bit about that. A blessing. That's all I see it at. <laughs> and E, I think y'all think I'm playing. I think E a little witch or something. Because E said that. He said, all right, you're going to go to linebacker by your senior junior year. They say, you know, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> say, you're a witch. <laughs> <laughs> working, working voodoo or something. <laughs> nah, man. I, I, here's the thing. I think that um, when, you, when, you, when you really love something, um, you got to go for it. Yeah. And you got to go for it with reckless abandonment. Like, you have to do – I think Justin was playing offensive line his yeah. freshman year. He was, like, maybe a hundred and <laughs> – <laughs> maybe 190 pounds yeah. soaking wet. And they had him play an offensive line. And I was like – he was like, man, coach, I want to go to college. You ain't going to go to college <laughs> at offensive lineman. <laughs> for real. I was like, that's, that's not happening. He was like, man, coach, but I really want to go to college. I said, well, you're going to have to change your position. I said, what can you play? I said, I don't know what I want to go to. I said, well, shoot, go to linebacker. I think I think you got good size. You got the mind for it. Go to linebacker. He said, um, man, Coach Calabrese ain't going to let me play linebacker. <laughs> I said, Coach Calabrese, all you have to do is tell him that's what you want to do. Yeah. If you go out there over the summer and you don't prove yourself, the worst that can happen is you're back on offensive line. You're back on offensive line. You're still on the team. You're still on the team. Yeah. Right back where you started. You lose. You've lost absolutely nothing. You got everything to gain. Yeah. Next thing you know, Justin out there starting and got his offer and committed. And so, yeah, you know, what was that? What was that like, man? Committing like man, that joint was amazing, dog. Because I went down there. I got people in Atlanta, but last time I've been to Atlanta was like. Eighth grade year of middle school, so mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't forget how to get there, what it looked like, and all that stuff. Well, I forget to get there. It's, tw- it's, it's, it's straight twenty. <laughs> I, I it's know, twenty right? in a straight line. Yeah. <laughs> I go to sleep every time, so I blank out. I, when yeah. I wake up, I'm there. <laughs> so yeah, man. But um, going to Georgia State, man, it's pretty fun, man. It's like a when you go to a college or any college, especially at that level, it's it's a whole another, just a whole another vibe there, a whole another life. It's almost like you're on a whole another planet. Pretty yeah. Good. People different. You got a lot of people more diverse down there. A lot of grown folk. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's a blast. And then the thing that really made me do it was like, um, cause my mama's birthday was coming up. And really, you know, GSU was pretty much. I don't went day. I don't went to Liberty. Liberty wasn't there. That was just like a ghost town, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, but they do got that slope. Now, first yeah. of all, oh, don't man, like don't don't all. don't 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 be man. My son went there ah. and did well. <laughs> don't don't. Hey, hey, it's a good place. I ain't gonna lie, it's a good place, but it's like but, it's sitting literally between two. It's sitting in the valley. Bro. Yeah, it, it's it's in between two mountains. Yeah, and like it's really nothing there but the school. Yeah, it's, I, I will I will not I will not front with you. I, <laughs> I ain't mad at your at your decision at all. I'm just saying don't 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 shop my boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I say if you want to go to a quiet school, that's a school. To yeah, go. if you yeah. want to go someplace quiet where nobody gonna find you, yeah, go exactly, to Liberty. Exactly. <laughs> where ain't nobody exactly. gonna find you. <laughs> you gotta go. um, uh, uh, so what? What was like? They playing like the Georgia Dome, or they play with the Falcons play? Correct. Uh, they got their own. Stadium. Oh, they got their own stadium now. Yeah. The, okay. Um, the old Atlanta Braves Stadium. Yeah. They How was that, it, man? They they dig that junk out, dog. <laughs> I'm telling you, it don't even look like no baseball field no more. So like, was it like? What's that feeling of being on the sideline? Like, and it's like. I can't even explain it, dog. 
it just so it's just so eye opening of what what the world what else the world got out there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and that's and and that's the thing I think a lot of people don't get is that the world is so big. Yeah, exactly. It's so much bigger than Hartsville. So much bigger than Columbia. Yep. So much bigger. Yeah, like the world is huge, it and is. you got to get out and experience life. You got to mm-hmm. get out and experience the world. You can't confine yourself to yeah. just one area. And so I just want to say I'm proud of you, Justin, man. Um, Same. Appreciate uh, it, y'all, boy. Yeah. yeah, well, you'll be on for these guys for the topic. So I'm going to get out of here, man. I just wanted to take a second to talk to you because Justin was on. That's the only reason I'm talking. <laughs> yeah. uh, I wouldn't be talking if Justin wasn't here. <laughs> That's my guy. Uh, oh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm going to turn it over to Nate. They're going to get into the main topic. Gang, gang, gang. <laughs> Feel like I'm in a booth. Everybody want to want to. Ready, Nate? <laughs> All right, y'all. Topic of the day. Main fathers. Topic. Main topic. Fathers in kids' life or in anybody's life. Yeah. Um, me, I got my father. He's always, always been in my life. Always will be in my life. Mm-hmm. Um, I know he'll do a lot for me. Um, just speaking on me right now, my father played a very, very important role in my life. I feel like there's just some things. That a father can teach that a mother a mother can't like exactly. like not down to nobody, but I'm just saying like mothers, you know, cook, they clean, have a, they have yeah. another role. You but know? your father person, don't get yeah. you out there, mow the yeah. line, change tires, do the teach oil, be a, man. be a man, fight yeah. for yourself, defend for you, treat, treat how to treat yeah. a lady. You know what I'm saying? That that's just there's some things that that they can do that a so mother like, can't. For example, what things does your father do in your life? Me, that showed you like man, just life wise. He do um he do a lot for me like um. There was one time where, where do I even start? It's just a lot. Like it was one time in middle school where um we was getting ready to play um a game, and um I didn't I didn't eat, and I called him and he came by he like he brought me some food, and then that same game I got hurt. I mm. bust my chin wide open. Came to school the next day with mm. stitches on my oh, chin. I had like twelve game. stitches, and he was telling Ow. me um. He called up my um my scar and he came in there and I was um getting stitches and they numbed it but it still hurt. He's like, you better not cry. And he was like, I was like, but it hurts. He was like, this is them things that gonna hurt in life, but you just gotta fight through it. He was like, this is it's more physically and it is mentally too. Like you just gonna have to fight through some things, man. That's like facts. that's what he was telling me about. Peace. That's facts, bro. What about you, Jordan? Go first. Oh, you want me to go? <laughs> All right. Well, I know my dad. He's he talks to me about everything, like. Just in life, you know, my dad's a funny person. So, yeah, some things he'll say, <laughs> he likes to play around or whatever. But you know, Nate, when it dad comes, is a clown. when me. it comes to serious business or whatever, you know, my dad tells me the truth. You know, he's not gonna sugarcoat it. Yeah. He's gonna tell me. You know, like he's helped me out a lot, like just over the years, like showing me things that I needed in my life. Like really, just like my dad used to paint or whatever. So like he showed me exactly like how to paint, the style to paint. You know, right. Right. What not to get and what to get, you know, right. what type of paint, right. what different types of things are. And there's a lot of different types of paint out there, you know, but he just shows me a lot of things that he did growing up and what he didn't have. Cause, yeah, he ain't going to tell you nothing wrong. Yeah. Yeah, because, I mean. He just, show, he just showed me a lot of things, and I appreciate my yeah. dad for doing can't thank, that. Can't thank him enough. What about you, yeah. Justin? Man, y'all know what? My OG really ain't they like that. But I don't, I don't never let that put me down, though. You can't never any for for everybody who got a single parent or a single mom. Don't never let that right. that, that absence of your father never. or absence of your mother put Keep you down. Pushing. Exactly. Keep pushing, man. That's never. what only put motivation in your heart because that that's sure enough to do what that do to me. My dad, my OG, come around here and there, spot me a little bit of. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 he spot me a little bit cash whenever I need it. But from him being absent, sometimes that teaches me more. And him being there, because I know how he can get. I know how my daddy and his brother get. You know, Facts. right? You know what I'm saying they man, they do what they want to. They have, you know what I'm saying get a little fun, but as a man, you gotta grow up. Man, they, they just ain't in that stage yet. So me looking from the outside in, I learned a lot more than he teach me speaking words and stuff. Man, I love him though. That's my OG. Facts. Yeah. Same. My dad, he really not there, but I know him. But he really not there. Mm-hmm. But I love him. But like my mom say. Gotta like I gotta do it without him. I gotta yeah, prove why yeah. he should have been here. Can't stop. Yeah, exactly. Can't exactly. stop. Big facts. Just make him look bad, bro. Yeah. <laughs> whenever yeah. like whenever you you reach your goal, bro, don't ever put your pops down. Don't yeah. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. Like, you when you get there, you be like, man, I thank you for not being there. Cause if you would if you was there, I wouldn't be here. I would be right? somewhere else. You feel what I'm saying? 
Yeah. And I think just like at, when you grow up, your dad shows you different things. So you yeah. Might, yeah. He might show you something different as you was a kid. Now, when do you yeah. 21 years old? You know, because I, I mean? think once you hit like a certain age, that's when your father start to get real with you. Like he don't, he don't play. You yeah. know, like he don't sugarcoat nah, it's the truth. It's, it's like it's stone like, hard and facts. It's like, like, yeah. And, like whatever type of parent you have as a father, you know, when you get older, you know, they leave you like, okay, I showed you now, you do it, you know what I mean? Right, yeah. It's not like, yep. you, you practice, you know, you practice, and then now it's the test, it's you know the what I mean? It's, 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 it's like basketball, like you got exactly. the workouts, or football, workouts, mm-hmm. or football practice, baseball, you practice, 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 then game time, then game time, it's time, it's time to show what you put in, to get yeah. output. Because I mean, like your father has, he has a, a, a impact on you socially and mentally. Because, I mean, like, study shows, like, I was looking at this thing on my phone right now. It's called um, pediatricassociates.com. And it says that um, for boys, well, girls too, it says study shows that fathers are uh, affectionate and supportive, supportive mm-hmm. of their child and their social development. I mean, like, it, it, like you can go out, interact with people, talk with people. Yeah. Um um, like if you got a job interview, know how to dress, know how to do all this stuff. Yeah. Having a father, it, it, it shows you because they've been in them, they've been in that step, and now they're showing you because they only want the best inf- interest for you. I mean, they're, they're not gonna tell you nothing wrong. Not, yeah, they don't that's right. You, yeah, like, they don't want to make you go their way. Like if you had a father growing up, you know, doing drugs, stuff like that, went right. the wrong way, went to jail. Oh, he he's wants gonna his son show to do you. That. Yeah, he's yeah, gonna he show will. you a different path. You don't yeah. want you to take the same path. For him to fall at the same place that he did, and it know? will hurt worse to to see his son, you know, locked up. I got to bury yeah. him because he exactly. went near for him. And it's like, you know, you see a lot of people out here, you know, how they act or whatever. Right. It's exactly just how their parents, you know, raised them. You know, yeah. You, would, you know, not not all parents or fathers, you know, they're gonna raise them like a father should. You know what I mean? But yeah. and you could definitely see that within the people. Like you could definitely see just how they act, what they do. Personality wise, everything like you can see. Oh, well, their parents did this and this. You and know not only is it tough on the on the kids, it's probably it's tough on the mothers too. I mean, mm-hmm. it's so it's just so much yeah. that a mother can do yeah. without no help. I mean, bringing money in, a, a house over your head, clothes on your back, yeah. by yourself, and you're doing. You got some some stone cold mothers out there, man. Doing yeah, by strong, yeah. I'm telling you, yeah. <laughs> female don't strong. Play. Don't yeah. play, bro. But. but he has a different breed, dog. Yeah, yeah. different breed, bro. <laughs> All because the, the the husband or the father's not around. Which yeah. you know, I mean, my heart go out. Like you know, Jordan, you said that um, yeah. it's not around Justin. You, I mean, I, I see it in y'all boys. You know, at I see Justin on the field, and he, he's just like, you can I know tell, that motivates huh? you. I mean, you get in that, yeah. you get in that that yeah. mindset. Lock it in. takes you some way. Like you coach said, lock in. And I in. know I see Jordan. He be on defense. I know you probably think about your day. We want to punch the dude with the ball. I mean. <laughs> It, it's just motivation. It, it sets you off, man. It sets you, you can off. especially see how like these boys, you know, how they carry stuff in life. Like, yeah. mm-hmm. And I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and lie and say I know how you feel exactly. because I have my, I have my dad. Yeah, my yeah. That's a, that's a, that's but, another thing too. You don't know how people. Yeah, yeah I don't know how yeah. y'all feel. That's why I say I can't lie and, and say. To oh, be I honest, I just feel like like my dad texted me like a couple weeks ago when I went to ECU. Yeah, like that. We ain't talked like four months, and, wow. he, yeah. and he texted me us like, "You going to colleges now?" Right, see. I ain't even text him back, bro, because I feel like if it took for me to go to a college, college to talk to you, to get yeah. my name out there, you come yeah. back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel. I, I told my mama, I owe, I owe her this. I don't owe yeah. no, nobody else but mm-hmm. her. My mom and dad, this. They, I, I work hard for them and my brother. Yeah, see, we were talking from a son's oh, perspective. How he doing? I ain't seen him in a long time. <laughs> so my brother, yeah. he played baseball. For real? Yeah. He taller than Dame? He taller than me. Yeah. No, you see his brother? Yeah, he's he he thir- he 13 in eighth grade. He's like 6'1". Wow. I ain't seen him in a long time. So man. we're talking from a son's, per- you know, father and son perspective. Now, with a father and daughter, it's a little bit different. You know, your father with, or with daughter, you know, they're going to show security and emotional support. Right. And they want the best for her. You know, she or he is going to show her the ways, like, okay, if you're going to get a man, you got to have this person. You know what I mean? Like, what to look for. What to look for. Yeah. Not not a piece of crap or whatever, you know. Yeah. And, you know, with any father to daughter type relationship, the father's always going to be watched over her. You right, know, if right. something happens, right. he's going to be the first one to interact. And, you know, he's going to first one to respond. Oh, to we call it overprotective. Overprotective, <laughs> yeah, true. But going back to this website, it says that, it shows that, um, it says, the best thing, the best boyfriend, quote unquote boyfriend that a, that the daughter yeah. can have is a father. Oh, like boyfriend. I mean, because yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, like boyfriend yeah, yeah. is a father because th- that was that was the first male figure in her life. Mm-hmm. Like 
that was that how she was made. I mean, they came together, and it shows how it shows what she wants in a boy because her dad is the, her first male impression of her life, and if she don't have that. What is she gonna look for from another dude? She don't know, have not no standards. That's yeah, that's sir. what yeah. that's what. What is she gonna do? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah she's stuck saying. in a mental state. Where, right. Mm-hmm. What do I do? No. Same thing. Same thing with a dude. I mean, with choosing friends, like, um, if, if his father's not around, he gonna think certain. Father, yeah, a lot he of gonna think. Yeah, he gonna think certain things cool, or he he won't do that. He gonna get in trouble. Or is his father around? Mm-hmm. Show him what not to do. He he might help his homeboys out. Like, hey man, don't do that. That's that's not cool. Mm-hmm. But if you ain't got that around, either. You, you don't know, or you just got to learn on your own. Yeah. To be honest, I feel like you don't really need a father. You just need somebody like a father figure. Yeah, like, yeah. somebody had, that really care about you. Yeah, Mitchell. I got uh, three of my boys. Yeah. We got the little group. We the brother group. You know, um, shout out to Trez. Oh, I forgot Trez's last name. Dang. <laughs> nah, that my boy though. Trez Williamson. Uh, Kurt, I know everybody know Big Kurt yeah, and Tanner. Kurt. <laughs> them yeah. my boys right there, man. Them boys, especially when they left, bro. I really like when the boys graduated, man. I just made me cry, bro. I ain't even go lie. I see you post them because yeah, like them. They were my boys, bro. Them you boys taught too. me a lot when we was during the season, bro. Especially during my first year linebacker, it was more than just football when I was on the field. Them boys, bro. Family, yeah. Life. Them like boys, that. like they really got me, bro. That's not crazy. See, that's that's what I was talking about. About like, you know, like the father yeah, figure, exactly. like you know, what I'm saying? you got like. Y'all boys, you know, probably when y'all getting down or something, I ain't got nothing to fall back on but a mother. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Mm-hmm. Me and Nate, we got two. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. and then there's just certain things you don't feel comfortable talking about mm-hmm. with, yeah. with a mom. Yeah, yeah. I mean, no disrespect, mom. No, <laughs> but I know, you know, I know you probably gonna listen to this. But it's just certain things that when a boy go through. I mean, you you got to talk to another male figure about it. Yeah, yeah. you should be able to, if you comfortable with anybody. And yeah, you know you're comfortable with anybody. Talk to anybody. As like an adult, as a father, or as a male, talk to him because yeah, that's that's basically your mentor for your life, and he should be able to teach you things in life. And it's not it's not good to go go through stuff alone, man. Nah. That, it's not, and that's why I'm saying that's why it's good to have that father figure because it, going through stuff by going through stuff by yourself. Like we was talking on um, me and Jordan when we was at school, there was this um suicide prevention thing that we was talking about, yeah. and the lady there. That was talking to us. Her dad committed suicide, Dang. and it was in her own dad. She was like, "Why? Why did my dad come talk to me? And I'm her own daughter. And why did he then, leave me? Yeah, why did he leave me? And what was so bad that he couldn't talk to his own daughter about? And I was thinking that that yep. made me think about I people would know like that. was yeah. so like you can't even talk to your own dad or daughter or son about stuff. And that's why I'm saying like it's not. It's not. I don't know what make them leave, but. It's a hurt fulfilling. I used girl. to think it was me. No cap. Yeah, yeah. You got, you got some people like that too. That I thought it was me. I was like, I'm, I'm a mistake or something. Yeah, I'm talking about. Yeah. yeah. Where, where did I go wrong? Yeah. You sit back and think, but my heart go out for y'all two boys. I mean, y'all appreciate y'all some, it. Yeah, man. Y'all some, y'all some, True. some real ones. Yeah. Like my, my uncle always say, don't feel sorry for me, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying don't yeah. feel sorry for him. Ain't no, ain't no pity party. Yeah, man. for sure. Yeah. That one talking about Katie and my boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I bet. how y'all season? What y'all think y'all gonna look like this year? To be honest, I think we looking good, man. Like, Word. We just gotta get out these injuries. Yeah, Word. yeah. We That's what hurting. A lot of we, injuries right it's now. All, it's all the juniors and seniors hurting too. Ain't none of the young Most boys. Most of the leaders is <laughs> hurt. Right? Me, I'm just coming off. The of only leader that practiced today was Jay. Was me. Damn. Yeah. I'm just coming back off injury last week. I, it was from? my Achilles, yeah. Jordan ankle, his quad, quad, Cesar calf. No, just, just a start five, right? Basically, <laughs> <man. laughs> basically. So what about you, man? What about your season, man? How you? Don't y'all got Abbeville? Yeah, uh, hey. good Friday, man. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, talking about a good game. Yeah, Abbeville. oh y'all come watch that game. Y'all gonna think it back in the 1980s. <laughs> <laughs> it's home, it's home, right? Right? It's nah, home we in Abbeville. That's a long time. Like four hour drive yeah, on the bus. Them boys' tradition so strong. I respect them boys, bro, because they got so much tradition at their so school, like, bro. You know what, like type of tradition they have. Yeah, it's like um, about it, so. I remember Calibri was saying like they run down the hill or no, run out the stands and then they tap a little a old helmet from back then. Like they first coach ever came, bro. Like it's pretty dope. Bro. Oh, about like you know, how Clemson touched the rock. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's oh. like a, it's like an antique team. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, I yeah. swear, I swear, it's like an antique it's team, like bro. An antique it's like remember the Titans. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> them boy be balling hard, though, bro. I respect them boy. And yeah. I, I, I wish the best for y'all, man. Thank I know you, y'all bro. gonna bring y'all's game, whatever. Yeah, so man. we hope we pull fun. off this win. Hey, anybody 
willing to go support the football team, go support, man. Because hey, they would want to do the same thing if y'all was playing anything. So yeah, right, yeah, coach yeah. and support, man. I'm trying to put the city on the map for real. <laughs> It's already up there, man. What you talking about, man? It's already up there. Oh, there's there's too many athletes in Hartford. Too many, man. That's a lot of athletes. It's a lot. Really? It's like, everybody just got to get their hat right, man. Yeah. I've been seeing these young kids, especially in middle school, bro. Miss Godfrey, um, she told me to come in and talk to a couple of kids. But I was like, man, these kids really, I know some of these kids. These kids can ball, bro. But they just can't get their hat right, bro. Right. Yeah. You know what that go back to? The father figure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I swear. Look at this. I'm telling you. They ain't got nobody to guide them. Yep, doing a let around the racetrack. See mama, how we did that? Mom, yeah. <laughs> mama can't teach you but so much, man. That is man. true, but I mean, we can't really. I mean, we can talk about it a little bit with mothers or whatever, but, you know, they're there for, like, lifestyle things. I don't yeah. know, housing things, let's say that, because, you know. It's but then again, you got some, like I was, you like, thinking about you got some strong ones, man. Yes, like, so mine, I know mine is, like. My mom, boy. My mom, it's, it's, my mom it's me. I'm talking it's about stuff I ain't, even, I, ain't even, I ain't even want to talk about yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm like, mom, where this coming from? It's gonna happen. I'm like, okay. I'm like, yeah, mama, I swear, mama don't never tell no lie. Never she tell, never tell no lie. Everything she never. tell you, what gonna happen? It happens. It's happening. Are you seen happen, it? Bro. My mom always told me, you ain't gotta make a mistake. You can look at somebody else's mistake mm-hmm. and don't do it. That's so true. I'm talking about from the that's littlest so thing, bro. I'm the talking little, about yes. so I got my phone fixed one day. She said, you better put it in the case. By the end of the day, it's gonna be crap. I lie to you not, but my phone broke the same day. I remember that. I was like, no. Nah, do yeah. some lot over, bro. Shout out to the mamas out there, man. The Love dads, y'all. too. Shout out to the dads, man. Definitely y'all dads, too. Tell him. All right, so riveting conversation from the guys. Um, hope you enjoyed it, but, you know, as always, we got to get out of here. It's late. It's about... Can't tell y'all what time it is, and you know our secrets. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a win. It's a uh, school night. Well, we're going to say that's a school night. Yes. So we're going to go ahead and get these guys out of here. Hope you enjoyed the podcast. Don't forget that you can go ahead. Go ahead. Matter of fact, hey, you know what we didn't do? What we didn't, we didn't, we do. didn't give our shout outs. So the guest first, before he said he put up, put up his church finger like he had, <laughs> like he had, one, he, had, he had something else to say. So go ahead. Go ahead, Joe. Hey, y'all folks, whoever listened to this, man, turn up with me January 11th. We're going to have a fashion show. It's going to be professional. Coming here where it, the theme is exotic. So if you come in there exotic, you can't come in there normal now. Exotic. Yeah, exotic. exotic. You. you know right. my style. <laughs> Five if you want a general seat, ten if you want an interior seat. And just come out there and show out, man. Gotcha. We're gonna have fun. It's gonna be dope. You're gonna see a lot of a lot of crazy stuff, especially you don't see it down here in the south, I'm telling you. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's gonna be dope though. But I'm making clothes from Tough. Kevin making some from Urban Humane. And Shaquana gonna make some, and we're gonna have a little freestyle round for whoever want to bring some clothes in. You know what I'm saying? All right, okay. But y'all would, y'all come check it out. It's in the making though. January 11th, the day before my birthday. Y'all Mark come it. check it out. Yes, sir. All right, that's what's up. Any shout outs you want to give, Just? Uh, Cozy. Okay. Okay. Shout out. But uh, how can people follow you on social media? What's your social media handle? Hey, check me out on Instagram. What is it? Oh, crap. See, you should tell me I'm gonna do this, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? Here's the thing I don't understand. Y'all kids is on everything social media, and you always gotta look up. You always gotta look up. Hey, what's your Instagram handle? <laughs> uh, t- uh, let me go into my bio. <laughs> I don't even have Instagram. <laughs> But go ahead. Now. Hey, well, check me out on Instagram on underscore nine nine Justin, and then check me out on not Facebook, Twitter. What is it? I think it's underscore nine nine Justin eleven on Twitter. Okay, yes, sir. That's, that's what's it. up, Jordan. Any shout outs? Hey, shout out my boy Dez. Even uh, though he lost me a dollar a day, I don't like it. <laughs> I'm talking about dudes in front of him a whole lap around the school, and we was like, Dez, you ain't gonna catch him. Dez caught him. I'm about, um, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. He left me. I'm like, Dez, yeah. come on, bro. I had money, man. Come on. Track star. Shout out to Dez, though. <laughs> Shout out to the track star. Yeah. Track star. Hey, what's your social media, man? How can they follow you? Um, on Instagram, it's jblue underscore zero. And on Twitter, it's jblue underscore five. All right. Jamie. Oh, follow me on Snap at jamiewild4. And shout out to Dez. He took the trash out today. No, he didn't take the trash out today because no, that was, trash was yeah. full. It was yesterday. yesterday. It was yesterday. I told my shot he took out trash. He took out the trash yesterday? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right, that's what's up. All right, Nate, who is your shout out? Oh, no, Jamie, uh, social media handles. Oh, I did. I said, oh, snap, said? yeah, Snapchat okay. at Jamie Wild 4, lowercase, no space. All right. 
Shout out to the coaches and the players for working hard during workouts or whatever. But you can uh, add me on Snap or whatever, N A T H A twenty eight twenty five or Instagram Nathan Bar fourteen all together lowercase. Yes, sir. All right, uh, one, I got I got one last shout out. Shout out to the Vertimax. It caught, it caught a, <laughs> boy. It, it caught some bodies the yesterday. The realest person in Hartsville is the Vertimax. <laughs> they got so many bodies, bro. The Vertimax. If you some. asking your coach for a Vertimax, right. you better stop now. Stop. I'm telling you, not for the it's, price. It's for the work. Not, for the work. <laughs> I see why it caused that. Much money now, yeah, dude. No, one person did it like lasted no more than a minute, like straight up, like could it on a consistent. I'm basis? talking about. Nobody, I think I think I went like a minute fifteen, a minute. Whereas Zaki Zaki stopped after yeah. one, bro. Like, got knocked, coach, he was like knockout like, Mike Tyson, hey. first Mike round. Tyson knockout first I round. At Zyke, he couldn't even <laughs> hold the ball in his chest. He, was, he kept dropping. Bro, I thought like, the thing that you had to do it was so hard to hold you the got ball. I was yelling like boo the fool. And a strap on your waist. You got to jump. You got to pound the ball. Then you got to touch the backboard. Pound, go to the other side. You got to do that for three minutes. You straight. got resistance. I touched the backboard once. Once. <laughs> out, of, out of three minutes. I, I, I spend my day hitting bodies. I would. You said what, Josh? I said, I spend my day hitting bodies. I would. I've heard of Matt's different. I've heard of Matt's different. But we're going to go ahead and get out of here, man. You can follow us on Twitter at Hartsville Hoops, Hartsville underscore Hoops. And then you can catch us on uh, Instagram at Hartsville underscore Hoops. And you can also follow us. On Facebook at Red Fox Basketball. As you know, each week we get out here the same way. We are Red, Red Foxes. Foxes.